Now back to Nikola Tesla's life. What kind of man was Nikola Tesla? Tesla is best known for the War of the Currents against Thomas Edison, who was a Freemason. Tesla initially worked for Edison. Edison promised him money for work that Tesla did, but refused to pay him. Tesla eventually quit Edison's company and with George Westinghouse presented the world with AC power. What exactly was at stake here? To put it simply, DC power would have only been available to the very wealthy. It was expensive and required much more equipment between distances. AC power on the other hand was much cheaper and would provide everyone with affordable electric power even in rural areas. Thomas Edison went on a smear campaign of Tesla and AC power saying that it was dangerous. He tried to prove this to people by electrocuting live animals including elephants in front of audiences. Westinghouse was going bankrupt trying to fight this propaganda but the company was saved by Tesla he tore up his royalty contract with George Westinghouse in order to save the company from bankruptcy and the alternating current system from destruction. Tesla stood to lose over $12 million in royalty payments. Now which of these scientists sounds like a madman to you? Now Tesla experienced a lot of odd, bad luck in his life. His lab burned down to the ground for which he had no insurance. He was wrongly cheated out of patents, like the radio, which were only restored to him after his death. The man who invented the modern world and created all his inventions to help his fellow man somehow died with no money and is remembered as a madman, if he is remembered at all. His dream was wireless free energy for the entire world, and by all accounts, it worked. But his funding was pulled by J.P. Morgan, and all other bankers also refused to loan him money. In rare television shows like the one I will link you at the end of this video, and that you can view on my favorites, the government is now admitting that Tesla invented devices that could cause earthquakes, change the weather, shoot missiles out of the sky to end all wars and provide clean free energy for the entire world. Tesla was a brilliant man and said of other scientists, the present is theirs, the future is mine. For all his brilliance, what Tesla could not foresee is that the devices he intended to stop war with and help mankind would be used for the exact opposite purposes. Perhaps he hoped that we were better than that. On this official government website, which I will link in the information below this video, is a press conference from 1997, and this is Secretary of Defense William S. Cohen speaking. Cohen answers the press, saying, and I quote, Others are engaging even in an echo type of terrorism whereby they can alter the climate set off earthquakes, volcanoes, remotely through the use of electromagnetic waves. So there are plenty of ingenious minds out there that are at work finding ways in which they can wreak terror upon the nations. It's real, and that's the reason why we have to intensify our efforts, and that's why it's so important. End quote. Now who is the only country with a device like this that confiscated Tesla's research. That would be us. It is called HARP. Tesla was not a madman. He was simply someone who went as far as you can go with real science. He was abhorred at the idea that his inventions might be used to hurt his fellow man. He gave up money and fame to stand for what he believed in. He turned down the Nobel Prize because they planned to award both him and Edison. Can you blame him? Tesla hated war, while Einstein fully supported certain wars and was a strong supporter of Zionism. 
Tesla was brilliant and he simply invented the modern world. Einstein invented nothing of any benefit to man. Tesla called Einstein a fool. Einstein eventually agreed with him. The world has followed Einstein. Do you see a problem with this? At least Einstein could admit that he may be wrong and that he was not dealing with absolutes, which shows that he is a lot smarter than today's scientists. Why is modern science, which condemns religion as relying on faith, based on theories that require just as much faith or more as religion while providing none of the other important answers, like why am I here, or where will I go when I die? Why is science as rigid and dogmatic as religion when it condemns religion for being the same? Why doesn't everyone know who Nikola Tesla is when you turn on a television, get a weather report, listen to the radio, talk on the cell phone, start your car? Tesla's inventions are there staring back at you. Who was the smartest man of the modern world? Nikola Tesla and he believed in God's firmament, the ether spoken of in Genesis. Maybe you should look into it as well. Tesla once said, the gift of mental power comes from God, divine being, and if we concentrate our minds on that truth, we become in tune with his great power. My mother had taught me to seek all the truth in the Bible. At the end of this video, I will link one of the TV specials that is aired on Nikola Tesla. Is everything in it as far as Tesla's personal life correct? Doubtful. They can't bury all the truth, though, and multiple cases of generosity by Nikola Tesla. They claim that free energy would have led to mind control. Just like Edison said that AC power was dangerous. They claim that Tesla himself canceled the Wardenclyffe project, which is a bold-faced lie. What they can't hide is that Tesla's inventions worked, and he intended for them to benefit man. You could not put a meter on free energy, though. And there was and is a lot of money in natural fuels for a few of the world's elite who own the companies that would profit off them. To think that things like the Gulf oil disaster need never have happened is very sad indeed. To think that the entire world thinks that Einstein and his disciples have it all figured out is even sadder. A patent clerk who invented nothing against a man who invented modern technology and gave credit to God. We chose the patent clerk whose theories have gone a long way in undermining God. All the while, Einstein kept occult Kabbalah literature on his work desk and practiced alchemy. And the scientists who scoff at God work with technology that Tesla invented. Sad. Very sad indeed. Where others claim to invent, Tesla would say he discovered things that were already there. What really is mathematics? It is the attempt to explain universal laws that are already there. Mathematical laws were there before we discovered them. No one discovered more things than Nikola Tesla. Could it be because Tesla knew something that the majority of those who call themselves scientists today did not? It is time you questioned everything. While the truth might be hard to find nowadays, it is well worth the effort. Will you ever figure everything out? Probably not. I know my simple mind has not. But you will have enough information to make a choice and support an educated decision. Why is all this information coming out now? To me, it is very simple. It was promised to us. Matthew 10:26 says, So do not be afraid of them. There is nothing concealed that will not be disclosed, or hidden that will not be made known. What I tell you in the dark, speak in the daylight. What is whispered in your ear, proclaim from the rooftops.